Hey there Sabre fans, it's been a while since I did my last video on firmware updates. Now things have changed, the two button update method isn't always available for everyone. So here are three ways you can use to update your firmware. No matter which update method you prefer, there are always two steps that you need to take. First one is actually updating your firmware. So the firmware controls the CFX board and updates provide bug fixes or new features. The second step is updating your SD card where your fonts, your sound fonts are, your configuration files, your blade profiles, color profiles, and the system files like the sound files for the vocal menu. These might need changes uh, depending on the firmware update. Let's take a look at the first step and see how you can update your firmware. The first way is the auto firmware update, which is currently the most fast and simple way to update your firmware. This version, uh, this update isn't available for uh, older CFX boards because it relies on the uh, newest bootloader version. So if you're wondering how you can update your bootloader version, I've did a separate video on this a while back and I'll link this in the description. The steps for the automated firmware update are quite simple. First, update the zip archive from the Plector Labs or crystalfocus.net website. Second, open the uh, firmware archive and you'll find uh, two files, one of them being a .dat file. You need to extract that file and place it on your SD card and rename it to auto underscore fw .dat. After that, you can reboot the Sabre. So if you're on a uh, Sabre Trio power core, you can simply use the uh, kill switch or uh, on other external uh, or for removable chassis, you can take out the battery and place it back in. So after rebooting the Sabre, you should hear a very clear vocal message that the firmware update is starting. And after uh, maybe 20 seconds, you should hear the vocal message saying that the firmware has been updated like this. Starting firmware update. Firmware updated. I'll show you the dark side. And that's it. The firmware is now updated, so you can move on to the second part, and that is updating your SD card. Now, if for some reason the auto firmware update isn't working for you, you can try the two button method. First thing you need to do is again download the firmware zip archive from the Plector Labs or crystalfocus.net website. Then extract the .dat file onto the SD card of your Sabre, but this time don't name uh, the file or rename the file to auto underscore fw.dat, but name it fw.dat. And then place the SD card back into your CFX if you uh, removed it and then choose the USB access mode. With the SD card inside the uh, CFX, then cut the power to the board. In this case, I can use the charger cable as a kill key and I can see the power is cut because the button doesn't light up anymore. And then I need to do these steps and this is uh, press the main and auxiliary button at the same time and keep them pressed. And while I'm keeping them pressed, restore the power to the board by uh, taking out the charger cable. Then after a couple of seconds, after I've released, let's see, after I've released both switches, you will see the onboard LED blinking and I can press the main switch to trigger the firmware update. I'll press it once and you'll see the onboard LED change. Firmware updated. I know, I know. And the firmware update has been completed. So that's the two button method. The final method of updating your firmware is using serial commands. And you need to connect your Sabre using a, a data cable to your computer. Um, so you can send serial commands through the uh, data cable. First thing you need to do is, uh, again, you need to download the firmware update uh, zip archive, place the firmware.file on your SD card and name it fw.dat. So I've already done this and I've, I've got the file over here. I can uh, cancel the USB access mode. Now all I gotta do is find this Yoda. All right, so I can connect to the Sabre and I can see I'm connected right now. So now I can send the 
serial commands to activate the firmware update. And first I need to place the saber into bootloader mode. So I'll give the uh, command bootloader and press enter to send. And then immediately the connection, uh, connection will drop. So I need to reconnect to the saber and you'll see this message uh, being repeated over here. Uh, press act the button to update or type go. So I'll type go here in capitals, that's very important, and press enter to start the firmware update process. Firmware updated. I'm not afraid. And again, the vocal message that the firmware has been updated successfully. These are the three options you have to update your firmware right now. At least one of these three should fit your situation. Now let's move on to checking the SD card. Now the last step of updating your firmware is having a look at the SD card. In most cases, this isn't required, but in a, a rare case, some system files will get added. Um, maybe an additional vocal menu option or uh, some other folder structure that has been changed. So it always pays off to have a look and compare the default package for the firmware that has just been releases, uh, released to the uh, SD card that you have in your Sabre. Let's have a look and we'll compare the uh, 7F version to the 8A version. So that's the most uh, recent update that we had. And uh, we'll have a look at the extra folder because that's where the most recent changes have taken place. If you compare this folder to a very old uh, firmware version folder, you'll see that there are a lot of changes and you won't have the accents folder or the graphics folder or the pixies folder. If you have never made any custom changes to your extra folder and you want to make sure that uh, your SD card is up to date to the current firmware version, then simply remove the current extra folder and replace it with the one from the default package. And the default package you can download from the crystalfocus.net website, go to the firmware and packages uh, page. Most likely you'll already have visited this page uh, to download the firmware update file. You can also download the default package that goes with that firmware version. And if you've downloaded that, you can open the, uh, the extra folder. So this is for the uh, 8a version, I believe. And you can simply copy and paste all these files and folders and delete these first and paste the 8a version over it. If Indeed, you did make any changes or you've already installed accent files or graphics, uh, blade profiles or a special accent folders, then please leave these folders as they are and simply copy and paste all the other folders. So you can copy and paste like, uh, like this and just leave these files and don't think of them again. That's for updating the extra file. So you make sure you'll get the latest focal menu options. Um, what's uh, optional, but what you can do is you can have a look at the configuration files that, on your, that are on your uh, SD card. If you take a look at the uh, main configuration file, which holds the main uh, parameters in your blade profiles, um, sometimes parameters get uh, get added to the blade profiles on main configuration. So nowadays the CFX will auto correct and it won't it won't uh, crash and burn when you're missing some uh, parameters. But if you like, so it's it's in most cases very optional. You can have a look at the website crystalfocus.net to see if you need to add any parameters when comparing your version of a configuration file with the uh, version that's required by the firmware. If you can go to the config checker on the website and simply select your configuration file from the SD card. So I'll take one from the 7F version. I'll take the config file and I'll upload this. And I'll check it. Now, the pensions that are two parameters missing. I can scroll down to see what they are and these are two blade profile parameters. So I could add these uh, manually or I can download the uh, automatically corrected configuration file and place that on my SD card. So you can do this for the uh, config.txt, you can do this for the uh, uh, color profiles file, any configuration file on the CFX except the graphics I believe. You can use that and um, check if there's anything that you need to add. 
that's it for updating your SD card. These were all the methods and uh, actions that you'll need to do to update your CFX firmware all by yourself. If you think this information is useful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you feel unsure about what to do next or you just need some help, please don't hesitate to contact me or to ask in the official CFX group or the crystalfocus.net Facebook group. Hope this helps. Bye-bye.